Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, November the 29th. It's week one in Advent and the scripture for this service, Psalms 5 and 6, and Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 22. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. To my words give ear, O Most High, give heed to my groaning. Psalms 5 and 6 To my words give ear, O Most High, give heed to my groaning. Att attend to the sound of my cries, my Sovereign and my God. It is you whom I invoke, in the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. Deceitful and bloodthirsty people are hateful to you. But I, in the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, O God, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat is a wide open grave. Their throat, their, all honey is their speech. Declare them guilty, O God, and let them fail in their designs. Drive them out for their many offenses, for they have defied you. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the upright, you surround them with favor as with a shield. My God, do not reprove me in your anger and punish me not in your rage. Have mercy on me, I have no strength. Heal me, for my body is racked and my soul is racked with pain. And you, beloved God, how long? Return, rescue me. Save me in your merciful love. For in death no one remembers you. From the grave who can give you praise? I am exhausted with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow with tears. I soak my bed with weeping. My eyes waste away with grief. I've grown surrounded by my foes. Leave me, all you who do evil. For God has heard my weeping, God has heard my plea, God will accept my prayer. My foes will retire in confusion, foiled and suddenly confounded. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. To my words give ear, O Most High, give heed to my groaning. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, beginning at verse 12. Then Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who were selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of thieves. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he cured them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the amazing things he did and heard, the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became angry and said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouths of infants and children you have prepared praise for yourself. He left them and went out of the city to Bethany and spent the night there. In the morning when he returned to the city, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the side of the road, he went to it and found nothing on it at all but leaves. And then he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. And when the disciples saw it, they were amazed, saying, How did the fig tree wither at once? And Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, 
But even if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask for in prayer and with faith, you will receive. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls. For peace in Jerusalem and in the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church, and for the unity of all people. For Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don, and all of our church leaders, for all clergy and people. For Barack, our president, and for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority. For the good earth which God has given, and for the wisdom and the will to conserve it. For the aged and the infirm, for the widowed and the orphan, for the sick and the suffering, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, especially Robert and Carrie. For prisoners and captives, especially Christian and for all who remember and care for them. For Margaret and Bill and David, and for all the who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed. For the mercy of God community, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, William Irwin, and all the Mercy of God associates. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And gl glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 